Hello, welcome back to James's channel. Now, for my long-time subscribers, you will know that I usually do science videos. Now, starting this year, I will also be adding math videos in because I have students taking math this year uh, under my care. So, let's get started on today's revision on percentage. This video is suitable for primary 6 students primarily, but if you are primary 5 students using percentage and you're learning percentage right now, and doing conversion between percentage to fractions to decimals, this will also be useful. As usual, to use the video, you can always pause the video, look at the questions, try it out first before you listen to the explanation. Alright, let's jump in right now. Express 0 0.3 as a percentage. So this is a decimal. Right, you can convert this to a fraction. Uh, personally, I find this easier to see and if you want to convert further, it is actually 30 over 100 and this is actually 30%. Alright, now another way to do it is, let's say 0 0.3 times 100%. So the decimal will actually move 1, 2, okay, and you have your 30%. Let's go to the next one. Express half percent in decimal. Now this may look tricky. So let's start something simpler. Let's talk about 1% in decimal. So that will be equivalent to 1 divided by 100. So it's like you doing this. 1, 2, decimal here. So 0 is here, 0 is here. So 1 in decimal is actually 0 0.01. Now, now that we've, we have revised this, how about half a percent? So half a percent, and what is half? Half is 0 0.5, right? Half is 0 0.5. So same thing, half a percent, that's what I did earlier on. One, two, decimal is here. So the answer will be, 0 0.005 so for this one the answer will be 4 the first one answer is 2 let's go to the next question express this as a percentage now two whole is simple all right you know that one whole is equals to 100 percent if you get one whole of everything it means you are getting everything all 100 percent of it so definitely, if you have two holes, that will mean 200%. So that crosses out 1 and 2 because it's 2.1, 2.2. So you've got to be either 3 or 4 because you have a 200, 200 here. What is 1 quarter percent? So 1 quarter, sorry, not 1 quarter percent, 1 quarter as a percentage. So 1 quarter is the same as 25 divided by 100 which is actually 25%. Another way to understand it is one quarter multiplied by 100 and you will get 25 as well. Okay, 100 divided by 4 is 25. So that means your 200 plus your 25%, you get 225%. So 200 plus 25, you have your 225%. So the answer for this is 3. Let's go to the next question. In a group of 80 people, 56 are adults and the rest are children. So what percentage of the people are children? Well, let's find out. So in other words, we are supposed to find out the children as a percentage of the total amount of people. So how many people are there? There are 80 people. How many children are there? Well, 80 adults, 80 people minus 56 adults, we get 24 children. Remember this section here, you don't need to use calculator and you shouldn't. You should actually practice just doing you know, sums like this. All right, some mental sums will be good. 24 divided by 80, change it to a percentage. So mm, you can do it in different ways. I will have to simplify first. I, I know this, I can find a common multiple here is actually 8. 
So I divided by 8, I'll get 3. I divide by 8, I get 10. So 310 is actually, remember our first question, 310 is actually 30%. So answer for this is 3. Next one, question 5. The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in the candidate is 2 is to 3. So boys to girls is 2 is to 3. So total number of people, I do not know, but total in terms of the parts of this, 2 parts of boy plus 3 parts of girls will be 5 parts in total. So what percentage of the children in the candidate are girls? So we're looking for girls as a percentage, as a fraction of the total, which is here. So how many parts are girls? 3 parts are girls. And total will be 5. And this, I like to change the base, the denominator to 10. But this helps me to see it clearly that this is actually 60%. Okay, answer is 1. Now how else to see this? For those who are not too familiar with ratio, this actually means this. Boys, 2 parts. Girls, 3 parts. Total is 5. So if this is 100%, which is all the people, and there are 5 equal parts, of course, every part here will be 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, and the percentage of the children who are girls will be 60%. You can do by model drawing also if you, if you like, okay? But I think it's quite simple to do it in this way. Question 6. Pole A is 20% longer than pole B. So we have A is longer than B. And this is longer by 20% than B. And B is 120 cm in length. How long is pole A? So let's take this uh, to be 100%. So here we have our 100% is actually 120 cm. This is the length. And now we know that A is longer than B by 20%. So what is this 20%? I don't know, so I need to find out. So let me find out what is 20%. How do I get 20%? 100 divided by 5, I get 20. So 120 divided by 5, I will get 24. I can do by mental sum. Of course, you can do by a long division here. Divided by 5 times 2, 10, 20, 5 times 4, 20, of course 24, right? So I know 20% is 24. So how long is pole A? Now pole A is actually 120 cm here plus 24 cm. So that will give me 144 cm. Answer is 4. Question 7. In a class of 40 students, 28 of them wear glasses. What percentage do not wear glasses? So we're looking for the do not wear glasses over the total number of people. Total we know is 40. How many do not wear glasses? Well, 40 altogether minus 24 who wear glasses. 16 did not wear glasses, so we have 16 here. Let's convert this fraction to a uh, percentage. Now, I will just simplify first, and remember I said I'll try to get the denominator to become 10, if possible. I can see that the common multiple here is 4. I divide by 4, I get 4. I divide by 4, I get 10. Hey, I get 4 tenths. And I can already see this 40%. For those who can't, you can change this to 40 over 100. How do you get this? 4 times 10, 10 times 10. Right, I get 40%. Answer is 3. Let's go to the next one now. Question 8. Now, Jaden spent 30% of his money and had $140 left. How much money did he spend? So, if I draw a model to help you to see this, he has some money that he spent. This is what he spent, right? 30% was spent and he had some money left, $140 left. So it's $140 left. So how much did he spend? We're supposed to find this. If a total to begin with was 100%, 100 
then here of course will be 70 percent so i know that 70 percent is actually equivalent to 140 now just to interject here do you need to draw the model if you can see this relationship with the model of course you have no need to draw the model you can just see oh 30 was spent 70 was left and 70 is equivalent to the 140 dollars so we're supposed to find out how much she spent right looking for 30 percent so i look for 10 percent first then i can find 30 percent easily why do i think this way if i can get to 10 by dividing by 7 then here i just need to times 3 i get my 30. so i know many of you want to go to 1 percent first and then find 30. by all means you can do that it's quite easy to do it if you have a calculator but if you don't have maybe you can use this way so you actually divide by a smaller number because here i only divide by 7 and then i get 10 divided by 7 i get 20. all right and then here I times 3 to get 30. Here I times 3, I get 60. So the answer will be 3, $60. After a discount of 20%, the price of the theme park ticket is $40. Children under the age of 7 are given a further 15% discount. What is the total percentage discount given on tickets for children under the age of 7? Now this is confusing, but don't be confused. Let's think through this. Okay, so let's draw a model to uh, understand this better. So he, the ticket of forty dollars is paid for. It's the price of a team part of ticket after a discount of twenty percent. That means this part here, twenty percent, right, wasn't paid. So what was paid was only eighty percent of it. But wait a minute, if you are a child, you pay even less. You're given a further 15% discount. That means a child will only pay $25. Now, how do we then get this? Now, we know that $40 is equivalent to 80%. I want to find out how much is this $25. So, I mean, I go to $5 first. I divide by 8 I get 5. Remember, I'm trying to use calculator, right? 40 divided by 8 is 5. 80 divided by 8 is 10%. So now $5 is equivalent to 10%. So $25 will be equivalent to 5 times 5 is 25. 10 times 5 is 50%. So what was the total percentage discount given on tickets for children under the age of 7? Now, if I now find that the $25 is 50%. What's next? Well, that's the answer. But of course, there's one more method of doing this. That could be simpler to understand. Go back to the same model, right? Now, instead of doing this, let's try to find the cost of the tickets before the discount. So let's find out what is 100%. So we know that 80%, right, is equivalent to $40. So to find the total amount, I need 20%. First, I'll add it back. So what is 20%? 80 divided by 4 is 20. 40 divided by 4, that will give me 10. So I know that 100% is simply 80 plus 20. That means 40 plus 10 is $50. So if there is zero discount, no discount at all, the full ticket price will be at $50. Now, we know that the child only paid $25. So what is 25 out of 50? That is equivalent to half, which is 50%. This may be an easier way to understand how to get this answer. So yeah, that is your answer, 50%. Next one, there are 20, this one, okay, 20% 20 of the people in the shopping mall are men. The rest are children and the women in the ratio of one is to four. So it means, for example, there are some men, and the men makes up 20% of the people here. The remaining, of course, will be 80%, right? The remaining here will be 80%. But how is this 80% here being distributed? We are told that, okay, there are some children, and children, and women 
in the ratio of 1 to 4. So the remaining part here is divided into 1 plus 4, 5 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of which one part here represents the children. Alright, and four parts here represents the women. Women. We were told that well, the, the 120 more women than children, we were told this. What's the more than? This part is equal, right? One part equals one part. So this is the more than part. There are 120 more women than children, three parts more. This is 120. Now, we are supposed to find out how many men are there in the shopping mall. Okay, so if I can find out what is the total here, which is actually equivalent to 80%, remember the total amount of people will be 100%, 100 minus 20 is 80. So I have my first equation here, which is 80% is equivalent to 120. Sorry, yeah. this part here is how many percent? Ah, sorry, it's 3 units. 3 units here is equivalent to 120. Alright, because you know that these 3 parts here are the women. And that is equivalent to 120. So if 3 units is equivalent to 120, 1 unit will be equivalent to 120 divided by 3, that is 40. So 1 unit is 40. There are 5 units here. So 5 units will be equivalent to 5 times 40 equals to 200. So there are only 200 children plus women. We know this part is 80%. So 80% will be equivalent to 200. This 80% is the women and children, and they are equivalent to 200 women and children. How many men are there? Find 20% only. So 20%. This one divided by 4, I get 20. So 200 divided by 4, and I'll get 50. Answer is 3. Now for the next one, question section B. Express this as a fraction in the simplest form. Remember earlier on, if you are confused, you go to something simpler first, like a whole number. Let's try, for example, just to help you understand again. Huh? 1%. How to express as a fraction? You know, it is 1 divided by 100. Okay? It's 1 divided by 100. You want to change to a decimal? Also very simple. Let's just practice some ch changing, right? some conversion. Divide 100 to 0, right? 1, 2. Let's move it here. This is 0 here. So it is 0 0.01. So if this is 0.7%, you think like this 0 0.7 divided by 100. Again, move the decimal to the left twice. 1, 2. Decimal here. There's a space right put a 0. So I say 0 0.0070. 0 007. 0 007. And that is your answer for this. Next question. Express 50 centimeter as a percentage of 2 meters. So, a careless mistake will be doing this. 50 divided by 2. And that will be wrong. Because the units here are different. So, you must first make sure they are the same units. So, I like whole numbers. So, I'll keep to my 50 cm as a percentage of 2 meters. 1 meter is 100 cm, so 2 meters will be 200 cm. Remember, I said we want to change the base here, the denominator, to either 10 or 100. So 100 is simple. I divide by 2, I get 100. By 2, I get 25. If it's 25 divided by 100, this is simply 25%. Next one, Maylee had 80 grams of flour. She used 80% of it to bake cookies. How much flour had Maylee left? So if 100% of her flour is 800 grams, she used 80%, so the percentage left is 20%. You can do mental sum easily, right? I need to do working. Huh? 100 minus 80 is 20. So she must find 20%. How do you get 20%? From 100? Now again, I think a poor way of doing is to go to 1% first. Sometimes you can do it because the numbers can be easy. For example, in this case, when you go to 1% first, can you can go to 1% first, right? Let me show you here. 100% is 800 grams. 1%, you divide 100 by 100, you get 1. 800 divided by 
100 you get 8, 20% cos times 20, times 20 you get 160. Another way is from this, you actually reduce one step. 100 divided by 5, you get 20. Think like 20 times 5 is 100. So same here, 800 divided by 5, you will get your answer. And there will also be this. Now, if you find this easier, go ahead, do it this way. If you find this easier, do it this way. It's up to you, all right? So 160 grams. The price of a watch is 500 grams before GST. That means this was the price at 100%. 100% is before GST. And in our country here, GST currently is 7%, which will increase 8% next year, and after that will be 9% the year after. How much does the watch cost after adding a GST? So if this is 100% of the cost of the watch, you must add in the 7% to find the total cost. This is what you're supposed to find. So for this, I need to find what is 7%. Let's find 1%. Divide by 100. Divide by 100, I get $5. 7% times 7 times 7, I get 35. So the answer will be 500 plus 35. 500 plus 35 equals to $535. And that is the answer here. Douglas paid $54 for a shirt after getting a 10% discount. What was the price of the shirt before the discount? So this was the price after the discount, right after 10% discount. That means this was at, uh, he only paid 90% for the $54 shirt. What a good deal. So what was the price before the discount? So it's able to find out what is 100%. Okay, you know the times table well, you know, oh, this is a common multiple here is 9. 6 times 9 is 54. So you can actually here divided by 9, you will get $6. Here divided by 9, you get 10%. 10% times 10, you get 100. $6 times 10, you get $60. Okay, in this example, it will be quite silly, I think, to go to 1%. Imagine you see this, huh? 90% to $54. And you try to do it this way, you know, go to 1% first. And without a calculator, it is going to look kind of clunky, huh? see? I'm sure comparing this and this, this is easier to work with. But right now, what I'm going to do with this? And if you're going to have your 100%, I'm going to do 100 multiplied by this. You're going to simplify this anyway, right? If you go to divide by 10, you get 9. Divide by 10, you get 10. Divide by 9, you get 1. Divide by 9, you get 6. You still have to divide by 9 the end, isn't it? 6 times 10, you get 60. Same thing, same answer. Up to you to choose the step that you prefer. Mrs. Hing bought a gold bracelet and had to pay $21 for the 7% GST. So, this was the GST. So in other words, 7% is the $21. So what was the price of gold after adding GST? In this case, it's like that, right? So 100% was before GST. 7% is the GST. She paid $21 for the GST. So this is $21. We're supposed to find out what is the total. So we have total, 7% is 21. And I love it because 7, 21, Easy to divide, right? Let's find out what's 1%. 7 divided by 7 is 1. Okay, 1 divided by 7 is $3. So what was 100%? Simple, 100%, you multiply by 100. Here, multiply by 100, you get 300. And what was the price after adding GST? Don't forget this. Don't write this as your answer. You're going to add in the GST, and you get your $321. Next one, Michael had a collection of stamps. She, he gave 25% of the stamps to his sister and had 123 stamps left. How many stamps did Michael have at first? So let's take a look at the model. Huh? There are many ways you can do it. For me, I like to draw it in, especially there are many parts, I like to draw in fraction. 25% is the same as 1 quarter. That means that he has a collection of stamps. He gave one 
quarter to his sister. So imagine if Michael has this number of stamps, four parts. This is his total collection. He gave this one quarter to the sister. So this part went to the sister. That's 25%. And he had 123 stamps left. So how many stamps did he have at first? By doing this, I can just find, oh, three units, three parts is 123. One part would be divided by three. Divide by three, right? This is the mental summer. 12, so here is it. Three divided by three is one. So here I'll do this. 12 divided by three, four. Three divided by three, one. And you get 41. Okay? So what is the total at first before this at first? I can just add these two together. 1, 2, 3 plus 41 and get 164. Of course, you can multiply if you like to. Times, if you prefer to multiply, you can multiply, you get the same number anyway. 164 stamps. Can you do by percentage? Of course, you can. Um, it's the same thing. All right? So 100% minus 25% given to the sister have 75% left. So 1, 2, 3 is 75% left is 123 stamps. I'm showing both methods to show you it is actually, it can be easier if you change the percentage to a fraction and then you do it this way, huh, by proportion. Now, now you get this. Imagine you can't use a calculator because this is in your booklet A. This is not easy to work with. Alright, so what can you do? I can try dividing by 3 first. Divide by 3, I get... Uh, now, how do you know I can divide by 3? Because I know this little trick that I'm sure many of you know as well. If I add these two digits together and it give me a number that is in, that is in the 3 times table, I can divide by 3. 7 plus 5 is 12. Oh, it's in the 3 times table. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. It's in the 3 times table. 75 divided by 3 will give me... 25. 1, 2, 3, 3 divided by 3. Divide by 3, I get 4. Divide by 3, I get 1. 25% is 41. So now I get 100%. Simple. I add these two. Hey, you see? Same thing. Add these two together, I get 164. You can do it this way too. But comparatively, I find this easier to see and to visualize and to work out the answer. Up to you, okay? Whichever you prefer. In the class, one-fifth of the pupils walk to school, 50% of them take public transport, and the rest go to school by car. 12 pupils go to school by car. How many in the class walk to school? I find model easy to work with here. For example, I'll try, again, I'll show you two methods. So one-fifth walk to school. Okay. So we know that the walking to school part is here. This is a walk to school part. This part is easy to draw, okay? This portion here. Now, this part now will be tricky. 50% take public transport. 50% will be half of this, right? So we have a half of this. Now my one unit is kind of two. So what can I do? I can then, instead of having five parts, I change to 10. What does 10 mean? It means I change one fifth to two ten. 1 out of 5 is the same as 2 out of 10. So now 50% of it is this part here, 5 units. If out of 10 parts, out of 10, half of 10 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This part is the public transport. Huh? It's a public transport. And the rest go to school by car. And this will be the rest. This part will be by car. So 3 units is by car. We have three units by car, 12 people go to school by car. So one unit will be 12 divided by 3 is 4. How many people walk to school? Walk to school is 2 units. 2 units will be 2, 1 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 pupils walk to school. Now, if you want to do a percentage, let's try. One fifth is equivalent to 20%. Now, how do you know? You should memorize some of these things, huh? like one ten is 10%. Um, one quarter is 25%. It helps you a lot if you just memorize some of this conversion. So I know that 20% actually walk to school. This is the walking to school part. I know 50% of them 
take the public transport. So this is really 70%, right? So the remaining, remaining pupils go to school by car. So 100 minus 70 is 30% of the school of actually go to school by car. It's like in the school of this class. How can school be so small, right? Yeah. So 30% of them go to school by car. So 30% is 12. What is 10%? Divide by 3. Divide by 3 is 4. See now? Same thing. Eh? 100% times 10. Sorry. It's supposed to go to walk to school, right? Walk to school is how many percent? 20%. So 20% will be 4 times 2, 8. Same thing. Question 19. Jonas was 150 cm tall last year. He is 156 cm tall this year. Find the percentage increase. So increase in the height. Alright, so the original height, this is the original height. What was the increase? 156 minus 150 is 6 cm increase. Original was 150. So we need to turn this into a percentage. You can multiply by 100, or like what I prefer to do, I will actually try to simplify this. Okay, let's do it in two ways. Let's multiply by 100 and try to simplify this. Divide by 10, left 15. Divide by 10, left 10. Divide by 5, and left 3. Divide by 5, and left 2. Divide by 3, divide by 3. 2 times 2 is equal to 4%. Okay, another way is, for example, you have 6, 15, divide by 3 is 2, by 3 is 5. Alright, let's change this into, so it's 150, yeah? divide, so 6 divided by 150, right? divide by 3, I get 2, divide by 3, I get 50. I change this base to 100, times 2, times 2, 4, 4%. Okay? You can do in different ways. Last year, 800 people participated in a triathlon. This year, there are 600 people, 600 participants. So there's a decrease here from 800 to 600. There's a decrease. So what was the percentage decrease? We have our decrease over the original. Original is always the last time, the past, right? At first. So originally, I know that there were 800 at first. All of the decrease, 800 minus 600 is 200. It's a decrease. So change this to a percentage. So divide by 100. Divide by 100. I get 28. Divide by 2. I get 2. Divide by 2. I get uh, 4. We must always divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number when we simplify them. Then divide by, so I divide by 2, I get 1, by 2, I get 4. So 1 quarter is actually 25%. Okay? Let's go to the last part, section C. Now, Lee, Lee made some, of course, if you have lasted all the way here, you deserve a break. Just pause the video, go for a break, and come back afterwards. Right? Welcome back. Lily made some cupcakes. 60% of the cupcakes are chocolate flavored. 70% of the remaining cupcakes are vanilla, vanilla flavored. And the rest are banana flavored. There are 24 banana flavored cupcakes. How many chocolate flavored cupcakes are there? Now, this can be challenging, such questions. So you've got to be careful about the term, this word called remaining. Huh? Okay, so I'll get to this in a very short while. Let's start the simple part first. 60% are chocolate flavored. So we're going to start with this part. Okay, so I'm going to draw a model here. And if you are not familiar with drawing model, please draw along with me. So 60%, so this is your 60%, and this is your chocolate flavored. Okay, so what is remaining? So if this is 60%, then remaining of course will be your 100 minus 60 will be 40% remaining, right? 40% is remaining. Okay. Next part. 
70% of the remaining. Remember, I'm going to kind of color this part. This green part of the remaining is here. This is remaining. You can stress this is your remaining part. So, 70% of this, what does it mean? So, I'm, let me just redraw this out for you to see. If I just bring this whole block here, down here, okay? Let's move this whole thing down. Huh? I'm not changing it, I'm just moving it down. So, 70% of these are vanilla cupcakes. If I draw a model, what does it mean? Let me try to draw 10 equal plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I divide it into 10 equal parts and it says 70% which means 7 parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this part here are vanilla flavored and the rest, this will be the rest. The rest here are banana flavored. Let's go through again. 60% of the cupcakes are chocolate flavored. Remaining 40%. Of the remaining cupcakes, 70%, I divide this whole part into 10. So 70%, 7 parts will be vanilla flavored. And the rest are banana flavored, 3 parts. And this is the most important part to understand. 3 parts. Okay, for the banana is equivalent because we need to find something that we can connect to this 24. So we know that three parts here of the model is equivalent to 24 banana flavored cupcakes. Once we have this, we can find out what is one part. That is divided by three, divided by three, I get eight parts. So everyone here is eight. So all together here, there are 10 parts, right? So 10 units here will be times 10. That will be 80. So all this whole part here is 80 cupcakes of vanilla plus banana is 80. In other words, 40%, remember this is the same thing. 40% huh? is actually 80 cupcakes. This is 80 cupcakes. Exactly the same, right? This is 80 cupcakes remaining. So how many chocolate cupcakes are there? We will find 60. So for me, I prefer not to do so much working. I divide by 2 to get 20% first. So here I divide by 2, get 20%. Divide by 2, I get 40 cupcakes. To get 60%, I can just times 3 now, or just add these two together. So 60% would just be 40% plus 20%. 80 plus 40 equals to 120 cupcakes or 20 times 3, 40 times 3 gives me 120 as well. Now, let's go on to the next question. We're coming to the end soon, so hanging there, just two more questions. A packet contains some jelly beans. 33% of the jelly beans are red and 42% are blue. The rest, again, this thing, uh, the rest are this. Okay, try to understand this. So let's try to draw it out, picture it. So there's some jelly beans. Okay, this is not very useful. I'm just ignore that part. First part here in purple, 33% are red. Okay, let me draw my red part. Uh. Come on, I should use red. Uh. Okay, so red, use red. Okay, so 33% are red. Next, 42% are blue. I didn't have my blue pen, am I? I just draw a slightly longer one. Blue. 42% will be blue. And the rest are green. So, what's the rest? So, first let's find out 33 plus 42 gives me 75. 3 plus 2, 3 plus 4, okay? So, the rest would be... 25%. So here will be my 25% are green. Right? Green color. 25% are green. There are 40 more red than green ones. So now I need to compare this. There are more red than green. So how is it useful? 
we are 33 percent red 25 percent green so 33 minus 25 i get eight so eight percent more are uh, red and eight percent is the more red here which is your 40 more red now it's going to find out how many jelly beans so it's going to find out what's what is 100 percent so let's go to 1%. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. 1 times 100 is 100. 5 times 100 is 500 jelly beans. So and that is the final answer. Don't forget to write the answer in the answer box at the bottom. Okay. Now let's go to the last question. Claire had a collection of bookmarks made from paper, plastic, and metal. She had 108 paper bookmarks. So, so we know that some are paper bookmarks. 30% of the bookmarks were made from plastic, and 25% of the bookmarks were made from metal. So 30% are plastic, and then I have 25% are made from metal. If highlighting helps you to connect the words and the numbers together, do it. Right? Do whatever that helps you. So 12 fewer metal bookmarks than plastic bookmarks. So now 12 fewer metal. Metal is this one here. Okay. 12 fewer metal than plastic. In other words, if you have to draw a model with metal and plastic, right? There are fewer metal than plastic. So 12 fewer metal than plastic. I just put it here first. Huh? This is for this portion. So what was the total number of bookmarks that Claire had? Now I definitely must use this number 108. So what is 108? So let's figure this out. I have 30% were made from plastic. So this is 30%. 25 percent were metal this is 25 percent so from this is really helpful i know that five percent 30 minus 25 is five i know five percent is 12. right so what was the total number of bookmarks that she had so that would be 100 percent how to get it 100 percent five times 20 is 100 so 12 times 20 as well this is not a big number, just times 2 first. 12 times 2 is 24. Alright? But of course it's 20, right? So there's actually another 0 here. It's actually times 10, so you need another 0. So the first one will be there are 240 bookmarks. Clear, 240 bookmarks. Okay? Now this is one way to do this. Maybe you try a different way, uh, in case you have a different working, you know whether it's correct or not. So maybe you'll try this instead. You know that there were also paper it is plastic huh? there are paper bookmarks as well and she had some how many percentage is paper bookmarks now i'm showing an alternative method huh? another way alternative in case you did it this way for part a so you use 100 percent which is the total minus the way 25 percent which is metal minus 30 percent which is plastic and you have for this is actually 55 so you have 45% of the bookmarks were made from paper. So 45, okay, somewhere here, 45%. And 45% is 108 paper bookmarks, right? So 45% will be 108 paper bookmarks. So you need to find convert from this to 100%. What can we do? I can try simplifying. Imagine if you cannot use a calculator, what can you use? That's not where I taught you a, a tip, which is I can try to simplify by dividing by something. By 2 cannot, but by 3 I can. Why? 4 plus 5 is 9, and 9 is in 3 times table. 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. 9 is also in 3 times table. So I know both numbers can be divided by 9. Let's make these big numbers smaller. So by, by 3, yeah? Let's make these big numbers smaller. 45 divided by 3 is 15. This divided by 3 will give me 36. Okay. 
Now it's smaller, I love it. I can divide even further. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 is in the 3 times table. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 is in the 3 times table. I can divide by 3 some more. Divide by 3 some more. I get 5% is 8 is 12. Hey, I get this. 5% is 12 thing. I can do it this way, which is a bit longer, a bit more tedious, but it can be done. Then get to your 100%. Okay, 5 times 20, 12 times 20, and get your 240. Now, if you're wondering how they get to this so fast, it's just practice, okay, your mental sum. So, children, if you're too used to using a calculator and you can't do a mental sum, then you have to do your long division working at the side 108 divided by 3, you know, and work this out 3 times 3, 9, 18 times 6, 18, and get 36, right? You can always do this, or just keep practicing. This is for A, 240. Now for part B, Claire gave away some of the plastic bookmarks. The total number of bookmarks had decreased by 20%. She gave away some of the plastic ones, huh? and the total dropped by 20. Now the total is 100%. Okay, now I'm going to go to part B now in this part, okay? Total is 100%. Drop by 20%. So total drop by 20, not the plastic drop by 20, yeah? total drop by 20. Let's see what is 20%. So we know that 100% is 240. I know 10%, I divide by 10, I divide by 10 is 24. So 20% I times 2, times 2 is 48. Can I get to this straight away? Of course you can, but I'm lazy. I don't want to you know, divide this by 5. It's too troublesome. I rather divide by 10, which is very simple. Divide by 10, very simple. Just cancel, cancel, zero, right? So I'd rather do it this way. So I know that the number of bookmarks that decreased was decreased by this amount. This one was decreased. Then what is next? But then this means that now of the total, which is 240 at first, she doesn't have so many anymore. So right now 240 take away that 48. And let's do my subtraction. Alright. So she has 192 bookmarks left. Now, of these 192 bookmarks, how much was plastic at first? So at first there were 30% were plastic, right? You know, 10% was 24. So 30% was 10 times 3. 24 times 3 would be 72. It was at first. And that has decreased by 48. So 72, originally the original number of plastic bookmarks, take away 48. Alright, so I will have 24 bookmarks. 24 plus take bookmarks left. And this now we're supposed to find a percentage of the bookmarks that were plastic. So 24 plastic bookmarks divided by the total number left, which is 192. You convert this to a percentage times your 100 percent. I'm not going to use what I mentioned earlier on again. Huh? Somehow in this worksheet, uh, a lot of numbers can be divided by 3. How do I know? 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 is in a 3 times table. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. That's in a 3 times table. So you can divide by 3 and get 8. By 3, I get 64. Hey, I like this. I can divide by 8 and get 1. Divide by 8, I get 8. So now I have my 100 divided by 8, and I actually memorize this conversion, so it's 12.5%. 12.5%. Don't believe me? 100 divided by 8, 2, 4, 0, times 5. Okay, it's 40. So 12.5%. So that's it. I hope this lesson has been useful for you, alright?
Take care, all the best, and see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.